How would you encourage people of faith to be confident about their beliefs in the public square, in the workplace, community? I'd like to point to the example of a famous police chief we just interviewed in Canada. His name is Devon Clunas and he just announced his retirement and I felt it would be a great moment to go in and talk to him publicly about his faith. Because when he started his role as police chief in this Canadian city, he, speaking at a Christian event, asked people to pray for his city. And the press, the national press, ripped him apart. Oh, how unpractical that a police chief believes in praying for the safety of his city. And I said to him, do you have any regrets from being the police chief that went down for asking people to pray? And he said, never, because that is authentic to who he is. And I think that's such great advice. Just be authentic to who you are. And then remember, as Christians, as Christ followers, you are a citizen also. Your rights, your expression of yourself is as welcome in pluralism as anyone else. One last question, Lorna. What advice also would you give to Christians uh, on how they can have difficult conversations with people, their friends, their family, about the issues they disagree on and yet still keep, I guess, kindness and friendship at the centre? I think those difficult conversations can be navigated if you're a good listener. And that, that takes time to listen. And sometimes your opinions change as you listen and you hear what reality is for people. So respectful listening gives you then a platform to be able to say, well, here's how I look at this. Or have you ever thought of it this way? Or what if we tried it this way? 